Hello, my name is Isabel, and today I will be explaining about skeletal structures. So when I talk about skeletal structures, I don't mean this skeletal structure. The skeletal structure I'm going to talk about looks like this. Zigzags are like mountains. Well, what does this zigzag or mountain mean? This is the skeletal structure for pentane. And pentane's chemical formula is C5H12. So two important elements to know are carbon and hydrogen. And that's because skeletal structures show bonds between carbons and hydrogens. At each point of the skeletal structure, there are carbons. And that's because you have five carbons in pentane. So you should have one, two, three, four, five carbons or five points in your skeletal structure. You may be wondering, well, what about the hydrogen? Well, since each point shows the carbon and its bonds, all unshown bonds are to hydrogen. And that's just something we can assume. We can also assume that at each point where the carbons are, that there are also four bonds to each carbon, unless charged. So first, let's try an example. Ethane, whose formula is C2H6. Since there are two carbons, I know that at each point there will also be a carbon, so I draw two dots. And then I just connect them, and that would be the skeletal structure for ethane. So let's try another example. Ethanol, whose formula is C2H5OH. Something to remember is that if the atoms are not carbons or hydrogens, then they must be labeled in your skeletal structure, like this OH. So I know that there are two carbons in ethanol. So I draw two points that represent my carbons. And then I can connect them to show their bonds. However, they're also bonded to OH. So I can draw and label OH as its own point and then connect the carbons to the OH. And remember, we don't have to worry about labeling the hydrogens because it's already assumed that all unshown bonds are to hydrogen. And so this would be your skeletal structure for ethanol. So in conclusion, to understand skeletal structures better, we should know that you can assume carbons at each point unless labeled otherwise. You should also remember that you can assume that all carbons have four bonds unless charged, and that all unshown bonds are to hydrogen, which is why unless an atom is a carbon or a hydrogen, they must be labeled. The end. Thanks for watching.